When you get a link from Randonneurs Ontario for a route that you're planning on riding, you may, you'll get a, a pointer to a map that looks something like this. When the ride organizer says you should print your own cue sheet, he means you go up here to view cues and have a look at the cue sheet. This is the full cue sheet that you will want if you're going to follow the ride strictly from the cue sheet. It has turn-by-turn -turn instructions, um, quite detailed. If you're going to be using a GPS, you'll want the um, summary sheet. In either case, you can make some adjustment in the um, weights of the lines, the amount of padding around the text, as well as the font size. Um, I tend to like a fairly heavy font, fairly large, with some rather thick lines. Maybe that's a bit too thick for me. To print it, you can do a preview. And after the computer is done thinking about it, you have actually a rather chunky cue sheet that may be rather hard to ride, the way I've said it, or hard to follow when you're on the road. Also, it's taking up um, five pages. To reduce the uh, size, check on a few things. Go back and check on your um, page setup. Here I have 120%. Reduce that to 80%. And we'll have another look at a preview. Depending on the f internet browser you use, you will have different controls. This is Firefox running on a Macintosh. Firefox is pretty similar across all the platforms. Um, Chrome has a similar functionality as does Internet Explorer 11. And in fact, they all do not quite a perfect job of printing, but a pretty good job. In this case, we I have a fairly annoying one or two cues stuck on the top of another page. So I will make a small adjustment in font and try again. And again, I'll do a preview. Now it fits completely on two pages. I could print this on opposite sides of a page and carry a single sheet. So this looks like a pretty good setup for carrying on a 200 kilometer brevet. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching.